Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm driving and Walter's holding the camera. Good morning. Uh, we just left Dick's RV park in Grand... No. Where did we... Where we Great left? Falls. In Great Falls. They're Mont not Grand. They're, they used to be great. Yeah. Great Falls, Montana. We stayed at Dick's RV park. And I think I completely forgot to film it. Um, pull through... Wanda was was able to fit in the space and so was Aries. It was probably a 60, no, I would say about 75 foot RV site. Um, 50 amps, water in, water out. Good locations for the utilities. Would we stay there again? I would have to say no. The reason for that is because their internet only hooks up to your computer or laptop. Their internet, Wi-Fi did not hook up to my phone or our iPad. We had to use our own data for that. Their internet was also really slow. Uh, you could check email, but if you wanted to do anything beyond that, uh, it was extremely difficult. So we ended up using our own internet other than when we were reading email. Also, there are three deterrents to that park that I did not care for. Right next to the park is an, is an expressway and a railroad track. And one mile away is the airport. So you heard all three in the middle of the night. Especially the train. Especially the train. It started at about 11, 12, 1, 2, and they blew their horn, which is fine. It's a safety issue. It was just the location of this particular park. And right now we are there late spring, early summer. It's May, no, June 19th right now. And the mosquitoes are out in the thousands. So... Just be prepared to bring bug spray when you're in this area. Absolutely. All right, so would we stay there again? The answer would be no. No, sorry. We would not stay there again. That's the state capital of Montana, which is Helena. So we're gonna take this trolley tour. It's gonna look like freaking tourists. So I don't get run over. Welcome. Hello. We're looking for an engineer. Anybody? Uh... No. Oh. I have two degrees in engineering. What uh, kind of engineer do you need? To drive the train. Oh, I'm not that kind of engineer. <laughs> I have, I do have two engineering degrees. <laughs> oh, look, shirts. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, shirts. shirts. How exciting. Well, if the trolley brings us back here, we can buy some. Of course, she has to be open when they come back. Oh, we don't know. There's a good chance. And postcards are very nice. Postcards? Where? Where's the postcards? Do you have more of them? Do you have 30? I have just this for I have 30, 30 of them. them? Yeah. 30 of those? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you set them yeah, aside for us? If you have 30 when we come back, we'll get them. I will get Can them ready. you set them aside for us? That'd be great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's everyone in the group. There's no room for us. Oh. We have to walk. You're in trouble. We have to walk. Seat right there. We have to walk. I don't sit backwards. He has to sit forward. He's got to face that way. Let's sit over here. We can go right here. Cindy and you're okay. Cindy. We can sit over here next to Cindy or Guy. You can sit backwards. Who does? Oh my gosh. 
I have to face forward. Well, that's why, right, I'm, here you that's go. why I'm sitting like this. I'm, this uh, forward, this way. Motion sickness? You're going to totally. go for the front row? Right. That's why I'm on. Well, I can sit next to Me too. I'm going to sit there. That's good. I can sit here. All right. You don't mind? Oh, uh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> I can sit backwards. She has a, she she can, I can sit over here. Yeah, Marie you're won't bite. We're all good. No, you won't you bite? Are you sure? No. <laughs> There's a flying vehicle on both sides. Wow. Now, just that last year, we water. added all of those flags. They're kind of in a semicircle at the bottom of the steps above that statue of a wild looking guy on a horse. And we added those so that we could have the flags of all of our tribes represented here in Montana. Oh. And then just in front of those flags, that wild looking guy on a horse was wild. His name was General Marr. If you see it written down, he spelt it meager because he was Irish. <laughs> but General Marr was um, definitely wild. He got into trouble in Ireland. So they kicked him out, sent him to Tasmania. Eventually he ended up here, he got involved with our Civil War, which is where he became General Marr, and eventually he was acting governor out here in Montana. He did die while he was here in Montana, and I tried to find a really good account of how that went down, but I found several different accounts. <laughs> All of them eyewitness, of course. Apparently he was either shoved, jumped, drunkenly stumbled, <laughs> I am like reaping with repellent. The way we got the name of Helen is kind of interesting. The guys had all gotten together in a cabin. They wanted to pick a formal name for this mining town. There were some very strange options thrown out. A couple of guys thought we should be Pumpkinville or Squash Town. <laughs> How would you guys like to be visiting Pumpkinville right now? Um, luckily, they threw those out, and it came down to two options. It was either going to be Helena or Tama. And Tama was short for Tomahawk, and there was a native gentleman hanging out on the gulch at the time by that name. And the guy who was really pushing for Helena said that it meant City of the Interior, and they really liked that. They wanted to become the city on the interior of the continent. So they went with Helena. Everyone started calling us that, but they got to know that guy a little bit better. And it turns out he was from a place called Helena, Minnesota, and it does not in any way mean City of the Interior. <laughs> so we were a little bit tricked into it, but we're still glad we're not Squash Town. <laughs> okay, let's check out our original governor's mansion now. When we pull in here, it will be on our left if we can get this in and move. Okay. So until 1959, this is where our governors used to live here in Montana. The red one? But this building was not constructed by a governor. In fact, it was constructed by a guy who got really rich bringing water into town for the miners. So when he built this in 1888, he made sure it had the latest in water technology. So it has running water installed, original running water installed throughout the entire building, and there's even a second floor flushing toilet from 1888, which is both horrifying and fascinating, <laughs> all at the same time. They actually do a tour of that house. They've restored it back to its glory days. It's a pretty fun tour. Oh, all right, this gorgeous sure. building coming up on our right is the Helena Cathedral. It is over a hundred years old today. It's modeled after the votive church in Vienna and the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Those stained glass windows you guys can see were made in Germany and then you know, like they, store here. Grace they were brought across the plains here to Helena. So we protect them with some really thick sheet glass. And if you guys have free time, they let people come in and just look at those windows as long as they don't have an event going on. They're really great about that here. We're currently at some museum, Minis Montana Natural History Museum. And Walter is looking at some, some stocks. Were those bonds or stocks? Bonds. Those were bonds. He was looking at bonds. 
territory of Montana bonds. That's not accurate. They didn't have jeans back then. Well, that's pretty. Like where we started. Some of those look like they're in the haunted mansion. Yeah, they do. Oh, well, look! <laughs> I am so happy you got a walking stick. <laughs> what? What did you do to him now? <laughs> First you pushed him off the, pe the the walkway and now you what? What did she do now? <laughs> it was okay this morning when I woke up. Pretty, it was getting better. It's been hurting me the last couple of days. You need Advil? I got you took the, him this morning and this, okay. and this afternoon. When I was doing the hoses and electric and all uh -huh. that stuff, bending over. It. Something just went. Okay. Yeah. That should help a little bit. Every couple years this happens. Me too now. Oh. <laughs> We're old. <laughs> Who? No, this is not them. Okay, this is the cement that's making the luxury space. No, we have a cement. Okay. No, the, it's the barbecue and... Hi. Oh, yes, it was. What happened to the hay? What happened to the hay? There's no hay. That's not a hay ride, that's a bus ride.
never be able to get branded. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin sizzles a lot. It's a Japanese horse. <laughs> it is. Okay, these are the ones who don't want to smell a horse's ass. <laughs> Look at mine. <laughs> Yeah, we're not into hay rides and all that. Yeah. You can jockey around when you come back on the horses or whatever, folks. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, come on, lots man. of horses. We're, we're all good. White we're beauty. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's Japanese. Oh, that she got. Yes, we we got Japanese. white beauty, the Japanese we'll horse. Just get exhaust fumes. That's all. <laughs> good old brown. <laughs> Who's that good old boy out there with that mustache? Oh, yeah. oh I don't know. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Jesus. He's a little scary. Jesus. He's riding the horse. Kathy, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do with Gene? Just got a whole lot of tight at the time. Toss him out the window? Yeah. yeah. They said the driver's side, so way. I got out okay. and he goes, where are you going? He's in. He's part of the driver's side. Going up a bumpy mountain road. For an hour. Did you think it was an hour? Yeah. Well, now we're, we, first we were in a bus. Now they shove us in, now they shove us in wooden benches. And you notice he didn't get on the interstate. The guy was telling us, the guy was telling us, oh, this is his property, and it borders on National Forest. He's got like 60 acres here. And uh, he built this this house down here with all the wood on his property. Wow. Yeah, well, he, built a, he built a small mill up the road, he said. That's what he was telling us. Are we Just going so to his know. house? I don't know. We still don't know where we're going. Okay. We still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're going halfway back to the last 14 miles. Past this is consistent. Yeah. I'm guessing. He's turning his out. Yeah. Oh, good kid. We're going back to town. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We came out the fast way. We're going home the long way. Long, slow way. I brought these. We could Uber back. <laughs> we don't have so I just saw a deer. So if up we here get back earlier. to town, we will. On this field? Uh -huh. Let's look for a deer. Only one? Uh, this is the actual site of the original cabin deer that he used to do. So, um, he originally their dinner was all in a teepee. Oh, so wow. It was, a, it was a bit bigger teepee than this one. This one's about 24 feet in diameter. The, uh, the other one they used was uh, 30 feet in diameter. Wow. So, Tony and Bud, they get boys' names. You can only believe about half of Well, if they're boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the half I tell them we're about ready to go. So yeah, that's, it sounds great. He is a fisherman. Look at all the mustaches, <laughs> but I, I finally figured it out. I said, it's Dave. So about every other day, she says, how is handsome Dave doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing okay. Oh, so we'll let him have now. Well, okay, <laughs> girls. Well, Dave and his wife are doing <laughs> just fine. <laughs> 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 well, I have to tell her that Dave is fine. You got your camera out of It's just a horse. <laughs> you would have lost, Mario. I guarantee you, you would have lost. Dark in here. <laughs> You're a bad, bad boy. I was worried about you. I was worried you were going to get bummed. No, I put my hand out. The horse stepped back. You could have died. It's an animal. I'm not. <laughs> Okay, we're over there. 
Excuse me. Sorry. Where you have to have something there to it's identify. Over there. <laughs> Just those two on the end? Yes. Yes, dear. Sit here, dear. I know it is. You good? He was born to wonder. Ever westward, he was born to roam. Just a kid of 16. Back in 1880. Out in Wild Mountain, he made his home. God made my home for the wild man. Birdie party. Thank you, Charlie. Was your horse ranch on the table? How's it taste? It's delicious. Okay. Okay, we are at the Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site. Established by Canadian fur trader John Grant and expanded by cattle baron Con Concord Coors, Grant Coors Ranch commemorates the Western cattle industry from its 1850s in in inception up to recent times. The park contains 1,500 acres and 90 structures. So here we are. We're going to explore the ranch and hopefully get our stamp. are here at KOA North Helena and it's a nice site 50 amps water in water out water in water out and it's nice nice and long so Wanda and Aries can fit with a little and they have very good Wi-Fi we can actually watch Amazon, Hulu. I didn't check Netflix. You can watch Amazon, Hulu, all the other streaming Netflix. videos. And the internet connection was just really good. <laughs> the fact that we were right <laughs> below one of the towers might explain it, but however, it's 5G. Again, very good internet here. So this is a real internet park with good parking. They do have a clean laundry room, a little gift shop area. It's a very small gift shop, but all the necessities are there if you're missing anything in their office slash store. And our space was completely level. And our space was completely level. We did not have to put any leveling blocks down. Uh, all gravelly area. Uh, some areas were essentially all gravel which is nice. There's no dust flying around everywhere, except what, what Walter's doing right now. Filled in the paint. Yeah, the yeah he's spot. just playing with dirt. It's the bald spot. He's playing the in dirt. Uh, Desert boy. <laughs> uh, better than boiling water. So, so we are all here pretty much. Everyone has a 50 amp site. Now, well, when, when we are at Dillon, I cannot comment on the Fantasy RV Tour. Oh, maybe I can. We will be staying at a different park that is 50 amps. Outside of our expense that we're already paying for a park that we're not going to use. So again, this is where we are all at. Would we stay here again? The answer would be yes. We would stay here again. You guys need a copy of the Dillon itinerary? 
8.30 bus. That's all we need to know, right? That's it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Anything else is pluff pluff. Thank you. Yep. What did you say? 8.30 bus. 8.30 bus. Oh, the day after. 8.30 bus. Yeah, okay. yeah. Is there anything else we need to know no. aside from that? Any 